guys, welcome back to my channel. Today Jason and I went to Ikea as we needed to get some furniture for Oscar's um, bedroom because he's currently going to be moving rooms. If you guys don't follow me already, I'm going to be having another boy. So the room that Oscar's in at the moment is going to be the nursery and we are doing a new room for Oscar. So this is actually my first time ever going to Ikea. I've ordered quite a bit off of Lime but I've never actually been to the store itself. So I thought I would share with you everything that I got. I did actually do a bit of recording while I was there so I will insert the clips now to show you what we got when we were shopping. <laughs> share with you everything I got obviously a couple of the bits are quite large so they are still in the boxes so I will make sure that I show you those when we have built those and put them together and you will see the finished look but things like we got some lampshades and things like that so I thought I would share those with you now so the first thing to show you is um, this plant pot but I'm going to be using these for my makeup brushes um, I've seen quite a few people do this and it's such a lovely size um, I have absolutely no idea how I pronounce half of these so sorry but I do believe this was about two pounds so the next thing I got was this fake plant I believe this was about three pounds um, and yeah again I have no idea how you pronounce this so but I just thought this is really lovely and it's to go with something that I want to put in the kitchen um, which I'll show you in a minute um, but yeah I'm not very good at keeping plants alive so I always think an artificial one is the best. The next thing I got was this jar this um, is I think it's about £2.50 but um, I like obviously the seal and everything like that um, but I do quite a lot of baking and um, I find that I go through flour quite a lot so I wanted one of these just to put like my flour in so it's just a lot easier for me to get the flour out as opposed to a big packet and I usually get it everywhere so for £2.50 I thought that was such a good price. The next kitchen item I got were these glasses. I actually got four but obviously <laughs> you're gonna see what it's like having to but they are 50 pence each so obviously for four they came to about two pounds which I think is so good and I think that they're actually a really good size as well um but yeah so I couldn't resist those and no doubt I'll probably get some more when I go back or if we're ordering anything offline. The thing I got for the baby was this I don't know how well you can see it because as you can see I haven't opened it yet but it's actually a cot bumper um, and that is the name of it but it's got breathable material around the outside um, and it's got kind of like a quilted um, effect with stars around it as well Let's see if we can take it out so it probably shows you the detail a bit better but it's kind of got a quilted effect um, it goes all the way around the cot and yeah, it's got these little grey stars on which will go perfect in his nursery. That was £15 which I didn't think was too bad for a cot bumper. Um, the one that Oscar used to have used to fall down a lot so I didn't tend to, I didn't want to use that one again because I didn't like it as much so I'm glad I got this one. Something for the kitchen was one of these poles. Um, I really like the looks of these, they hang on the wall and I got the hooks to go with it and then I also got this little bucket as well and that is what I'm thinking the fake pot will, uh, the fake plant will go into and I just think that's going to look really lovely Ooh, dropping that hanging from there and then I'm going to hang that 
in my kitchen but I'll also insert a clip to show you what it's like when it's all finished. Next thing um, is for Oscar's new room and it was lampshade. This is um, the Alista one. I don't know if that's again how you pronounce it, but it was this lovely colour blue and we're kind of going for a blue and white theme in his new room. And this was £5, which I think is so good for a lampshade because sometimes they can just be so expensive and you find that they do build up. So for £5, I thought that was really good. I also got two other £5 lampshades, which are the Java ones and they are in um, the colour grey. Um, we also got two larger ones as well, but they are already hanging up in my lounge. Um, so I'll insert a clip to show you what they look like. But again, these are both £5 and I believe the larger ones were £8 each. So again, you really can't go wrong for that price. We got this lampshade for our bedroom, which is probably the more expensive one. This was £18. And this is the Nymo. Again, sorry if I'm butchering the name, but I have absolutely no idea how you pronounce that. Um, and it's white with kind of like a gold foil inside. So when it lights up, it sort of lights up with the gold foil inside as well. So it reflects really nicely in the bedroom. As I mentioned, we were getting a lot of the stuff for Oscar's new room. So we just got a new bed sheet for the bottom of his, um, to go over his mattress. Um, as you can see, that's called the Len, and that was in the size 70 by 160 centimeters because that fits the mattress that we got him. Um, we got him some new bedding. As you can see, it's kind of gone with the blue theme. And this has little gorillas on the front. We thought that was so cute. And it comes with a pillowcase and the duvet cover. And that was £16. Also picked him up a new duvet. Um, this is in Tog 4 because our house does get quite warm. And especially with it coming up to the summer as well. Obviously I don't want anything too heavy for him. So this was in Tog 4 and this was £6. Which I think is such a good price for like a duvet for a toddler as well. So yeah I had to pick up one of those. In fact, I picked up two just in case. This was the pillow that we picked up, which was £1.10, which I think is such a good price for a pillow. Um, this is in the Slane one, and it's in the size 50 by 80 centimetres, which is what I checked for on the bedding, and it fits it perfectly. So to go in um, our new drawers that we've got, I got some drawer dividers. Um, it was, I believe, a set of six for something like five or six pounds. So again, such a brilliant price. Um, these are the white ones and these are the scuffs. So I think that they're going to look great in Oscar's drawers. Um, if they do quite well, then I might pick up some more for myself, but I didn't want to go nuts because I wasn't sure how much room we would have in the cars. The next thing we got Oscar was a waterproof mattress protector. We are going to start potty training him soon, so obviously we want to make sure that his mattress is protected. I believe this was £10, which I didn't think was too bad for a mattress protector. Um, and this came in the section of, with all, you know, the kids section with all of like, the bedding and everything like that. Um, and the last two little things that I got were some river photo frames. Um, I got two of these in the size 23 by 23. Um, I've got a few pictures that I want to, sorry, you can see my ring light in there. Um, I've got a few pictures that I want to add um, in and start like putting up on the walls and things like that. Um, I got some like um, shelves, which I'll show you in a minute. And I obviously want to add some of these frames onto it as well, or even put these on the walls in maybe one of our rooms or even in Oscar's room. So I was really glad I got those and they were £3.95. So here are the Hemleys drawers that we have set up in our room. They're a lot bigger than I actually thought. They were £100, but they are really deep. I've just organized in the top here. So we've got like our underwear and socks. But as you can see, we've managed to put these big baskets in here so you can see how deep they are. And here are the other two lampshades that we set up in our hallway. So it just kind of finishes off the hallway a little bit. So these are the drawers in Oscar's new room. Sorry about the light, we haven't got any curtains in here. And these are the, I think it's pronounced Malm ones. And then I got some of the scub drawer organisers inside, which I absolutely love. Um, 
I've actually just ordered a couple more. <laughs> Moving over to Oscar's new bed, which is the critter bed. Um, oh, excuse the random arrow on the floor. Um, this room is still a bit of a dump room because bless him, he's still sleeping in his other room. We're just kind of getting this decorated so we can move him over. So even though the furniture is like there, you can see some boxes there. But yeah, it's not obviously staying like this, but it comes with the baby rail or guard rail on the side. And then we've got the bed in with it as well. So here are the other lampshades that we've set up in the lounge. So they just finish it off quite nicely. Last thing we've got with these shelves, as you can see, we haven't got much on them at the moment. But I'm looking to just find some pictures and things like that to put on them. But they're just above our sofa. So yeah, we kind of wanted to just get some shelves just to fill that space up a little bit. And, I, and what I'll do is I'll put a picture up when I've obviously put more photos and made them a little bit more decorative. But we've only just hung them up so I just wanted to show you what they look like.